Welcome to the place. As you know, you typed in atheist, sort by new into YouTube. You get this random guy who's not an atheist, who goes around saying, hey, I have no interest in debating and finding out what we disagree on. I care about one thing, and that is, what can we agree on? So when I look back on the dozens of videos I've done on this topic, one of the things that keeps resurfacing, as far as if I can get some street cred for, from some atheist viewers out there, most atheists who have individually left me comments, because I'm not saying that all atheists think alike, I'm saying as individual atheists have left comments, one of the reoccurring themes that as far as me asking the question, what can we agree on? How can we appreciate each other, not despite our differences, but specifically what do we have in common despite those differences? What can we celebrate? Here's something. The majority of atheists agree with how I say that I, as a Christian, can admit I may be wrong. And I think that's, there's that moment, that, that moment of truth where I'm connecting to my viewers and we just need to focus on that for a minute. Because my understanding is, I would say, if you were to ask most Christians, do you know, do you absolutely know that you're right about God, about Christianity, about heaven, about hell, about all those things, about the Bible? Do you absolutely know? Can, do you know for a fact that there's no way you're wrong? Most Christians, if they're outspoken Christians, are going to say, there's no way I can be wrong. I'm absolutely right. And I'm different. I'm saying, I absolutely believe. In my mind, this is my, I perceive this as truth. Christianity, the Bible, Jesus, God, all these. I perceive all that as my truth and ultimately truth for everyone. However, could I be wrong? My answer to that is yes. I believe that faith is being able to believe in spite of not having that physical proof. So by default, my faith, it's an understanding that of course I can be wrong. It's faith. I'm choosing to believe it's a choice that I as the individual make. Someone had said in the comments, they said uh, that ultimately, uh, you know, could you ever not believe? Could you ever stop believing in God, stop believing in Christianity, stop believing in Christ, stop believing that you were born a sinner? Could you stop believing that? And that's a, that's a good question uh, to try to respond to. Could I stop believing? I think the answer in theory is yes. I think there's a lots of Christians who have proven that. I think if you need to Google a name, Google Josh, Joshua Harris. He's, he's definitely someone who was very outspoken as a Christian, and now he's definitely outspokenly not, and actually... He's laying hints out there that he might actually be gay. So, absolutely. But if you would have heard him before last year, before this year, you, that would be, if it's a pastor for church, he would absolutely be the guy that, you know, you can't just stop believing. So, could I stop believing? I guess I could. If, if other people could, I guess so. If I, but for me, I choose to believe. It is a choice, and knowing that I could be wrong, and yet my faith is despised despite the fact I might be wrong. But I think what we can agree on is that you can at least have some respect for me, even though you disagree with fundamentally what I believe, you can respect the fact that I'm saying I may be wrong. And I'd already made a video about it too, talking about that song that my wife and I did on here, if you've seen that, where it's called The Meaning of Life. That's ultimately what the song is about. That song was largely inspired by these videos that I've made interacting with atheists. In, in the way that you atheists have challenged me to, to be a point in my faith where I'm able to admit out loud and to myself, I may be wrong. But as I said in the song, I choose to believe, knowing I could be wrong, and knowing that in the end, none of us can know for sure until it's too late. And if we just lose consciousness at the end of our life, we'll never get that confirmation anyway. Yet still, I choose to believe. Could I stop believing? Is that possible? Based on the many Christians who have stopped believing despite believing in Christianity their whole life? Yes. In theory, I could. I choose not to. Though. I choose to believe. I choose to have hope. And I've said that in my videos before. And that ultimately, I feel that atheists are wanting to, if they were selling something, they're wanting to sell the idea of, of truth. And Christian, Christians are wanting to sell the idea of hope. And at the end of the day, I would rather have hope over truth. 
because built into my hope is my perception of truth. And I'm okay with that. Ultimately, could I be wrong? Yes, all of us can be wrong. I think if we're being honest, whatever we believe or don't believe, whatever we perceive or don't perceive, we all can be wrong. And I think whether as a Christian or whether as an atheist, and whether you can use the word believe, I know most atheists who have left comments say they won't use the word believe, whatever word you need to use, perceive or whatever, but it's a matter of, if we're being real, we're admitting that we may be wrong. I definitely am admitting I'm wrong. And I think that's a good starting place for a conversation. In humility to say, you know what? I have, I have my version of what I perceive to be my reality. But I could be wrong. I think ultimately, if we're not saying that, I think we're being dishonest. I think we're being prideful if we're saying I'm absolutely right as an atheist or I'm absolutely right as a Christian. I say as a Christian, it's a choice to believe. And I admit that I may be wrong, yet I choose to believe anyway. I think that's, I think for me, that's a Christian being real. And I think that's why that resonates with a lot of my atheist viewers, because they're not used to hearing Christians say that. Does that make me a Christian who, if we had a Venn diagram, that it'd be a slight little overlap of, of agnostic? I don't perceive it that way. You might, but ultimately, it's faith. <laughs> if, if there was a way to physically know this for a fact, it wouldn't be faith anymore. I think the Bible is very clear about that. So, what I'm asking you as the individual atheist, I've said a lot of stuff in this video that I know that obviously you disagree with, but would you agree that at least comparatively speaking, part of the reason you can respect me, at least to keep watching my videos, is A, I'm not wanting to debate or argue. I think that's a waste of time. I think we need to respect each other more than just tearing each other down to the lowest common denominator. I think there's a level of respect you can have for me there, but I think there's also, you have a Christian who's willing to admit openly he could be wrong, and he's choosing his faith day by day despite that. And that is not something you hear a lot, and therefore you can respect that. And therefore, our interactions are a little bit different than you'd have from most Christian people that you'd interact with. Can we agree on that? I think we need to camp out on that thought because ultimately, we're agreeing on something, and that's what I care about. We're not tearing each other down. We're not insulting each other. No. We're saying, hey, we could be friends. We can agree on this one thing. If we can agree on one thing, let's, do, let's agree on the one thing or the two things. Your comments belong right here.